Hello, everyone. It's Jack Cotton, luxury real estate expert, author, and agent. I'm here inside my beautiful, luxurious, not overly ostentatious Cape Cod office thinking about negotiation. We've covered five sessions, I believe, on the topic of negotiation, and I decided to add one more going to the next month with negotiation techniques, ideas, and skills. Because if everything else doesn't work, I find that the following thing I'm going to talk about, which is quantifying your USPs, is a way to at least overcome commission objections and negotiate the commission you deserve and um, should get to get the property sold. So let's talk about this whole concept of USPs and quantifying them. First of all, a USP is a unique selling proposition. What do you do that you do differently and better than anyone else in your marketplace? We've talked a lot about my market preparation checklist. In fact, my new market preparation checklist is almost done. I'm having it published in book form. I'm not even sure how many pages it's going to have. It's going to be between 30, I don't know, 30 and 60 pages or 70 pages. I'm not sure, but it's going to be available. It's never been available before, but it's going to be. But my market preparation checklist, I believe, adds, brings two to four points of extra value to every home I list and sell. If you follow all my advice based upon my market preparation checklist, my belief, I cannot prove it, but my belief is that you will receive two to four points of extra sales price. That by itself should overcome any commission objection, but why stop there? My obsession with photography. I tell sellers, you know what? We have the most incredible photographer. We have two, actually, and they both have the most incredible cameras. One has a Nikon, one has a Canon. You should see the buttons, the dials, the LED screens, the readouts, and they know what every single one of those buttons and dials does. What they don't know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, as well as I do, is how to frame that picture. I know what makes a buyer's eyes light up when they walk into a house. I know what makes a buyer's eyes light up when they're scrolling through hundreds of listings online. And I know how to make, I know how to make your cover shot pop. And I art direct that photographer to make sure that, you know, after all the buttons and dials are set up the proper way, that they're capturing the exact right angle or image of your property. My obsession with photography, I believe, is worth another one or two points in sales price. Can I prove it? Absolutely not. I just believe it in my core. Next, my obsessive copywriting. Look at some of these listings in MLS, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. Look at the bad English that's being used here. Look at their, they're putting numbers in sentences. They're doing abbreviations. What is the point of having a phenomenal cover shot that captures somebody in one and a half seconds online and then drawing them into the listing with really bad, poor grammar, poorly punctuated copywriting? Tell them about your copywriting. I again think that by engaging people at this point in the process, it's worth one or two poor, more points in sales price. Next, I accompany all showings. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, let me ask you this. Think about the last time you looked at property and you were out with your buyer agent and you walked into a two or three million dollar house, for example, and the listing agent wasn't there. What subtle message is he or she sending about that listing? Right, not that important to them. And this is not one of my most important listings. I am present for all showings wherever possible. Is it, am I there 24 seven? Absolutely not. Do I sometimes have to have one of my team members uh, cover me? Absolutely. But I make every effort to be present for 90% of the showings of my listings. I think that's worth two to four points also. Lastly, my negotiation skill. Why not talk about negotiation? You just finished a five-part series on it. So let's talk about that. You know, I really think that my negotiation skills are worth another two to four points of extra sales price. So if you add this all together, you wind up to with um, eight to 16%. Just on these five things alone, never mind everything that everybody does, you know, the sign of the yard, the ad in the paper and listing in MLS and online, never mind all the stuff your company does, never mind all the other stuff you do, but just on these five items alone, we're talking 8 to 16% of more sales price. You know what, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I don't want you to have <clears throat> unrealistic expectations. Let's cut that in half and talk about 4 to 8%. In fact, let's just forget the 8% and talk about four points. I believe... It's clear to see here, and you agree with me, looking at just these five USPs that I bring to the proposition of getting your home sold, that I'm likely to get you an extra four points of sales price for your house. Now, let's talk about that one point in commission difference we were discussing a moment ago. Would you pay one point to get four? Absolutely. So if all the negotiation techniques that we covered over the past few weeks don't work, quantifying your USPs is almost guaranteed to work. I could, these videos have to be short. But I could tell you story after story after story of when I've done this, and the people gladly signed my contract. They were happy to pay my fee, even when I sold their house to the next door neighbor in three days. Anyway, that's enough about quantifying our USPs. Again, don't forget, in a negotiation, whoever cares less wins. And that's the bottom line on the commission part, too. 
be willing to walk away if it's not the deal you want, if it's not something you can, that's fair to you in terms of what you're, you're worth in your fee. Don't forget also, first Tuesday of every month, luxuryrealestateunplugged.com. Log in, sign up, ask, and learn. Until next time, make it a great week.